electrocardiogram uh, sensor, kind of like the Apple Watch has had for the past few years. Um, it also has an EDA or electrodermal activity sensor, which Fitbit says um, can help track uh, stress, which we know we could all use in 2020. So um, <laughs> Fitbit's kind of taking more of an approach to tracking health and fitness as a whole instead of just physical um, health, um, also helping people, I guess, track their stress levels. The Versa 3, um, it's not quite on the same level as the Sense. It doesn't have the electrocardiogram sensor or the EDA, uh, electrodermal activity sensor. Um, it's still a smartwatch experience or, or as close to a smartwatch um, experience as you'll get in a Fitbit right now. Um, it does still have a built-in GPS and a, a six-day battery life. So it's a solid device for those who kind of want the basic, uh, well, better than basic fitness tracking, but still don't necessarily need the um, EKG sensor or the electrodermal activity sensor. The Inspire 2 is kind of uh, Fitbit's entry-level device. Um, there's no smart assistant, no, Go no Google Assistant or Alexa, um, no uh, EKG or EDA or anything like that. You'll get step tracking, you'll get um, a heart rate monitor in there. Um, but there's also a 10 day battery life, which is pretty sweet. And uh, that's five days more than the previous generation inspired device. You know, it's, it's an entry level device.
Thank you. 